Hey guys, welcome back for another edition of All Things Vape. I am Jason, and tonight I was going to go ahead and do a review of the uh, Vaping J or Vaping J's uh, e-liquid line. However, after what happened with the Nickel Pure lawsuit today, I'm not going to do a review today. I'm going to go ahead and do. We're going to talk about the Nickel Pure lawsuit and what happened with that. Now, um, after this video, I will go back into doing reviews. I just wanted to get this out there and let you guys know what happened today. Now. Um, Judge Amy, Federal Judge Amy Berman Jackson, decided to rule against Nicopure in the FDA lawsuit. She ruled in favor of the FDA, and now that lawsuit is done. Um, it can be appealed, uh, so we you still have that, but realistically, that appeal can be fought for years in court, and by then, by the time it's settled, even if um, Nicopure is ruled in favor of by that court, um, it can be locked up in appellate court for years, and by that time, the FDA deeming regulations have taken place, and vaping's dead anyway, so it would be a moot point. And the reason for that is because in all of her wisdom, in all of her infinite wisdom, Judge Amy Berman Jackson decided to um, not grant a motion. Basically, it's like a stay of execution um, to where if it went to appellate court, that the clock would stop on the deeming regulations until it was settled in federal court. However, she turned that down um, before she uh, ruled in favor of the FDA. So that's dead. So the um, clock keeps on ticking, guys. It just keeps on rolling. So the appeal may not do anything um, if they do appeal it. So what can we do as vapors? Well, here's what we can do. You can get a hold of your state representatives and your um, Congress and your Senate uh, people or senators and congressmen and, and women and senators in your um, state and you can let them know that you're not happy about what the FDA is trying to do. I know this is a drum that gets beat on all the time and we've all been beat over the head, sign this petition, get a hold of your representatives, blah, 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 blah. It isn't very important now that we do this even because today was a big loss for the vaping community and a big loss for vapors in general. Um, so it is very important. Do not sleep on this. Get a hold of your representatives now. Don't be waiting. Uh, I know the uh, appropriations bill gets voted on in November with the uh, Cole Bishop Amendment, which is still alive and well, by the way. Don't wait until September to get a hold of them. Do it now, all summer long. Just pound the hell out of your state representatives in emails, telephone calls, and things like this. Um, because now, more important than ever, it is more important that we fight. Um, don't wait for somebody else to take up your slack. Do the responsible thing as a vapor, as a shop owner, as a distro, as a vaping business if you own one. Get a hold of your state representatives now, okay? The other thing we have going is um, there's a lawsuit by Larry Faircloth. Now, he's a uh, state representative of West Virginia, and he is suing the FDA on, and that lawsuit is still is still going on. He is still, he is suing the FDA as a consumer. He has no um, vested interest in the vaping, vaping industry besides the fact that he's a consumer. He doesn't own a, a juice line. He doesn't, he's not a mod maker. He doesn't build coils, anything like that. He doesn't uh, own any kind of business in vaping. He's just a consumer. And he is suing on states' rights, on the grounds of states' rights. And he's not suing on the grounds that the FDA is wrong in, in uh, deeming regulations for electronic cigarettes. He is, and vaping, he is uh, suing on states' rights. That way it takes the power from the FDA. So I think that lawsuit, as a lot of other advocate groups also believe, that that lawsuit has the most legs out of all of them. Okay, so you still have Bishop Cole, you still have Larry Faircloth's um, lawsuit, as well as a few other lawsuits that are going on against the FDA to try to stop these goddamn regulations from going any farther. If nothing's done, as vapors, we're all screwed. Now, you can go out and you can stock up on mods, you can stock up on batteries and juice and all that stuff. However, pre-made juice is only good for a year, okay? So at best, you're going to have a year. Even though you have all your mods and batteries and coils and everything built up and your RDAs built up, we're going to get the nicotine from to DIY. Now, I do, I do DIY some of my own stuff. And um, just that, that's basically because I can't find certain flavors that I crave sometimes. Um, and if I do find them, they're either done shittily 
I don't know if that's a word, or they're um, done um, very expensive, and it's cost it's not cost effective for me as a consumer to buy it. So, uh, for that reason, I have been uh, uh, not only buying juices, but I have also been DIYing my own stuff for a couple of years. And you know, I'm, I'm biased towards my own DIY stuff. I, you know, I uh, I think it's great, but that's just me, and it's for my personal consumption. But I mean, that only goes so far. We're going to get your nicotine from with the deeming regulations go through. You're not. You're not going to be vaping. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be vaping on a closed system like a Juul or an Avail or something like this where they have a 48 milligram nicotine juice that's in a pod and it sucks and there's no flavor and it's either tobacco or maybe, if you're lucky, a clove. Um, and that's going to be it, guys. That's going to be the reality. So if you don't want that to happen, if you want to keep your open systems and you want to keep your flavors and you want to keep everything the way it is now, you got to fight the FDA. And nobody can fight for you, but you, okay, so there are advocacy groups out there that are fighting for our rights, but don't leave it up to just them, the more voices we have, the bigger of numbers that we show Washington that we have, the better off we're all going to be, and the easier it'll be to get the Bishop Cole through, the easier it'll be to get the Larry Faircloth uh, lawsuit through, as well as the other the other ones, so as a whole, there we are, as a vaping community, as a community of vapors, we are anywhere between 9 and 10 million strong, okay? Everybody needs to care. Everybody needs to fight. Don't let the FDA win in the future. Don't let them take away your right to vape. And that's basically all I got for you guys tonight. Um, the juice I'm vaping on in the mod is the Predator 228. Um, the juice I'm vaping on is Madcraft um, Peanut Butter Madness by Mick Duvall. Excellent, excellent juice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, description to the Larry Faircloth website and the CASA website in my description to the video. And um, I'm also going to put, go ahead and put the Madcraft uh, um, website address in the video as well. So if you guys want to check out his juice, uh, you'll, you have the ability to do so. So um, excellent, excellent juice. I've been vaping on this juice for a few months. I do have a lot of bottles of this because I, like I, like, I like his juice. It's good as well as a lot of other people like it as well. So anyway, guys, that's all I pretty much got for you tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and vape real quick, and then we'll go ahead and close the video. If you like a good roasted peanut butter, this is it. Got a good ice cream base to it. I'm not doing a review. I'm just telling you guys that this juice is bomb. All right, so that's all I got for this video I got tonight, guys. So until next time, vape on and vape safe, and we'll see you guys later. Good night.